Welcome back to High Stakes. Elevate your game by subscribing to our channel so you never miss our daily content. For exclusive access to our premium betting picks, join our Patreon, find the link in the comments section below. Stay ahead with High Stakes. Los Angeles Chargers vs. Pittsburgh Steelers This should be a fantastic matchup between two hard-nosed teams who want to run the football and rely on their excellent defenses. With that being said, I'm going to ride with the Steelers minus 1.5 at home. This team is much more used to playing that style versus the Chargers, who were more of a finesse team under Brandon Staley in the past. This contest shouldn't be anything out of the ordinary for Pittsburgh, which plays its divisional games against some of the toughest teams in the NFL. My team pick is Pittsburgh Steelers minus 1.5 points. My total pick is under 36 points. Chicago Bears versus Indianapolis Colts. I think this game has the capabilities of Caleb Williams coming out of his shell and exploding for a big game. He has shown his ability in the run game and he will be able to exploit that against the Colts. Indianapolis has not been able to slow opposing offenses down while the Bears defense has been excellent and has frankly kept the team in games. Injuries to the Colts' defensive line should help the Bears in protecting Williams as he gets his first passing touchdown of his career on Sunday. My team pick is Chicago Cubs plus 1.5 points. My total pick is under 43.5 points. Houston Texans vs. Minnesota Vikings. The Texans continue to get the job done and they should do so again here against a 2-0 Vikes team who took advantage of a banged up 49ers squad last week. Darnold will be tasked with facing a tough pass rush yet again here, and if he doesn't have time in the pocket, it could go downhill rather quickly. The multi-pronged approach of the Texans' offense and playmakers downfield should open up the field for Stroud, and we've seen him execute in high-leverage situations. Expect him to do so here. My team pick is Houston minus 2.5 points. My total pick is over 46.5 points. New York Giants vs. Cleveland Browns, dating back to last season, with essentially the same cast, the Giants have lost 8 of 9 on the road and have failed to cover the number in their last 6 September games. Take the Browns to win and cover. My team pick is Cleveland Browns minus 6.5 points and my total pick is under. Philadelphia Eagles vs. New Orleans Saints. This is a major test for the Eagles as they have to try and get back off the mat after blowing the game against Atlanta on Monday Night Football at home. Traveling to face a Saints team that has piled up video game numbers in the first two games of the season is going to make things tough for Philadelphia's defense. New Orleans piled up 370 yards on the ground in the first two games and that works in their favor as the Eagles have been shredded defensively giving up 315 yards on the ground in their first two games. New Orleans has gone 12 of 21 on third down this season, and they should be able to move the ball against the Philadelphia defense. Look for the Saints' high-octane attack to deliver a win to go 3-0 on the season. My team pick is New Orleans Saints minus 2.5 points, and my total pick is over 49 points. Denver Broncos vs. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Denver simply hasn't shown enough offensively to be considered a serious threat at this point of the season. The Broncos have recorded more safeties, two, than offensive touchdowns, one, this season. Knicks has yet to throw a touchdown pass and has thrown four picks at this point of the season. The Buccaneers are banged up defensively, but we saw the team make plays when they needed to against a very good Lions squad. Facing a Denver team that has failed to inspire confidence should be an easier task for the Buccaneers, who roll to a win at home here to run their record to 3-0 on the season. My team pick is Tampa Bay Buccaneers minus 6.5 points and my total pick is under 41 points. Green Bay Packers vs. Tennessee Titans. Green Bay's Malik Willis did enough to get the job done versus the Colts last week. I think he will have the ability to do it again on Sunday if Jordan Love can't play. Willis did not force anything and let running back Josh Jacobs run all over the Colts. If Jacobs can get into a rhythm, the Titans will have a hard time stopping him. The offensive line is a concern for the Packers, which is why I don't think this is going to be a blowout. Expect a close game with turnovers being the difference. My team pick is 
Green Bay Packers plus 2 points. My total pick is under 38.5 points. Carolina Panthers vs. Las Vegas Raiders The Las Vegas Raiders had a 5-1 record against the spread as favorites at home in 2023. The Carolina Panthers had a 2-7 record against the spread on the road in 2023. I do not think Bryce Young was the problem for the Panthers and that Andy Dalton will struggle just as much if not more. Carolina will be unable to stop the run game which will give more avenues for the Raiders rookie Zamir White to be more impactful. Carolina this season ranks last in rushing yards allowed per game and with so many injuries to their defensive line, it is only getting worse. I would be surprised if Carolina scores more than a touchdown and will have a hard time keeping up with the Raiders as they should easily cover this spread. My team pick is Las Vegas minus 5 points and my total pick is under 40 points. Miami Dolphins vs. Seattle Seahawks The Seattle Seahawks are averaging 24.5 points per game, ranking 9th in the league, while their defense is allowing 20.0 points per game, ranking 12th. The offense is averaging 331.0 yards per game, ranking 13th, and 5.3 yards per play, ranking 19th, while the defense is holding opponents to 270.5 yards per game, ranking 6th, and 4.0 yards per play, ranking 2nd. The Seahawks offense excels in converting third downs, with a 40.74% rate, ranking 12th, but struggles in the red zone, scoring touchdowns just 25% of the time, ranking 29th. The defense, on the other hand, is strong in the red zone, allowing opponents to score touchdowns 37.5% of the time, ranking 12th. My team pick is Seattle Seahawks minus 4.5 points. My total pick is over 41.5 points. San Francisco 49ers versus Los Angeles Rams. I am taking the 49ers to beat their in-state rival Rams by at least seven points on Sunday afternoon in Los Angeles. The 49ers have looked good so far this season, though not perfect after last week's defeat, but they have withstood their injuries so far and have barely missed a beat in the run game with CMAC out, given the emergence of Jordan Mason. Brock Purdy continues to silence the haters as he has been playing great to begin the year as well. The 49ers are always a good road team, but that is especially true in Los Angeles, where their fans overwhelm SoFi Stadium and make it a de facto home game. The Rams' season looks like it is on the verge of spiraling, after last week's beat down at the hands of Arizona and both of their star receivers are now injured and out indefinitely. My team pick is 49ers minus 7 points and total pick is under 43.5 points. Baltimore Ravens vs. Dallas Cowboys feels like a must win for the Ravens, doesn't it? With that in mind, Dallas run defense has been exposed, ranking near the bottom of the league in rushing yards allowed. The Ravens, behind a dynamic rushing attack led by Lamar Jackson and newly acquired Derrick Henry, have the perfect blueprint to exploit this weakness. Henry thrives in wearing down defenses, and with the Cowboys' recent inability to stop the run, Baltimore should dominate time of possession and control the game's tempo. On the offensive side, Dallas has been plagued by inconsistency. The struggles of Dak Prescott and the Cowboys' offense combined with key injuries on their offensive line. Dak Prescott's struggles have been magnified by a lack of protection from the offensive line and the absence of key weapons due to injuries up front and to C.D. Lamb. Meanwhile, the Ravens' defense has started to find its form, and with pass rushers like Odaif Oa Kyle Van Noy and others, they can apply pressure on Prescott, forcing mistakes and limiting scoring opportunities. Additionally, Baltimore has the advantage of motivation, entering this game desperate for their first win after an 0-2 start. My team pick is Baltimore Ravens minus 1 point and under 47.5 points. Detroit Lions vs. Arizona Cardinals Detroit's loss to the Buccaneers is their wake-up call, and I don't expect them to hit the snooze button. With the Vikings starting off strong at 2-0 and the Packers still lurking around even after Love went down, I expect the Lions to put more urgency on obtaining victories in the regular season. I don't want to be a prisoner of the moment and leap onto the Arizona bandwagon just yet. While I believe they are a borderline playoff team, I don't believe they have enough on the defensive end to beat the Lions. 
I anticipate the Lions controlling the tempo with their run game and limiting Kyler Murray as best as they can on defense. Considering the spread is as close as it is, I suspect the game will come down to who can get a critical stop on defense. This leads me to favor the Lions more than the Cardinals. Detroit has also won their last four of five meetings by at least three points against the Cardinals. My team pick is Detroit Lions minus three points and total pick is over 51.5 points. Kansas City Chiefs versus Atlanta Falcons. These two teams have met just four times in the regular season dating back to 2008, and in that time, the Chiefs have won their last two meetings, the last of which came in 2020 behind a young Patrick Mahomes, who has only grown and matured since that point. Away from home, the Chiefs are a perfect 4-0 in their last four, with a 9-1 record in their last 10 overall games, and even with the Falcons showing heart in a late victory last week against Philadelphia, it won't be enough to take down a loaded, balanced reigning Super Bowl champions. My team pick is Kansas City to win and my total pick is under 48.5 points.